All right, so in this Android Studio tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this progress bar that reacts to a scroll listener event. And uh, essentially, it's just nice to see your progress. A lot of uh, online apps have it, and it just looks cool. So let's get started immediately by going to our res file and going to our values and clicking on strings, because I'm gonna kind of paste a lorem ipsum, which is just a lot of uh, placeholder text. And I named the string to lorem underscore ipsum to keep things simple. And then we'll be going to our activity main XML. And here I'm just gonna copy and paste an XML file I created earlier, but uh, I created a relative layout. I gave the progress bar an ID of progress bar, made the style uh, horizontal. Then on the scroll view, I gave it an ID of SV underscore wrapper. I placed it right under the progress bar. And finally, there's the text view and the linear layout where I set in the string we created as lorem underscore ipsum. And you can just copy that in your own time, but uh, let's go straight to the uh, main activity file. Here we'll get our scroll view wrapper and set an on scroll change listener. We're only gonna use the scroll Y of this, but it uh, inserted it all there as part of the Lambda expression. Then we're gonna write a new value, which is the total scroll length, and we're gonna assign it to uh, SV wrapper, and we're gonna get the child at index zero dot height, and we're gonna subtract it by SV wrapper dot height. And that's just gonna give you the total length of the scroll, so you can set the progress bar to uh, that length. So here we're gonna write max equals total scroll length, and the progress is gonna be set to scroll Y, which is the scroll position of our uh, scroll view as we scroll through it. And that's essentially all there is. It's a very simple line of code. The most difficult part will probably be the XML, but uh, yeah, I hope this tutorial helped. And uh, if there's anything else you'd like to know in the near future, just leave it in the comment section and I'll make a video about it.